What's up, George? What are you up to today? Today I get my shotgun out, man. Today we're here in Bell, California at Western Firearms. Let's take a look inside. After you, sir. Thank you, sir. Security guy, I see. They got you covered here. Boots. Nice. Red little swap pack boots. Hiking boots. I think I found the next pair. They're not quite tactical, but they're still nice. I think you would look good in them. I, I think so too. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Blacktop here, cargo. Look at this. Holsters, man. Holsters are big. Uncle Mike's. Caguar. I don't know if you want to know. If you have one of these, I don't know if they have it size fat. Hey George, tell us a little bit how you found this place. Well, these guys right here, dessert. I met uh, the manager here of uh, Western Farms, Dessert Brother. Uh, had some work done on one of my ARs. He put in the, the Surefire Pro Comp 556 that I mentioned on my previous video. Today we're here, like I said, to pick up my Mossberg 500. Today he gets out of California gun jail. But, uh, this is the dessert brother over here. Alex! Hey, Alex. Hey, how's it going? We're just uh, taking a knock around your shop, man. Like, a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. You can try to cover the bases, you know, from the basic weekend shooter to law enforcement or security. Me. <laughs> Yeah. So I don't know if you looked around already, but you like we got. Oh yeah, we got some of that stuff gear. back there, but something caught my eye over here. See all this? It was at this point right here that we got a lot of uh, background interference from the ultrasonic machine that was going on in the background. Unfortunately, I had to cut the original audio because it just drowned it out the whole conversation that we were having with Alex. So rather than just take this whole segment out, I'm just gonna. A little voice over here so you can still see the uh, beautiful custom 1911 grips that they have to offer over at western firearms they do everything from 45 full size to compact commanders government models and i even work with the 38 super as you can see there uh, a lot of really intricate engraving and uh, gem laying and setting uh, they work with silver, they electroplate gold. I think uh, the, the highest one they got up there is like a 22 karat the electroplated uh, 1911 grip. Um, it's gonna keep going on. That's that's Johnny right there, or Elder Ann, uh, my, my buddy right there recording. Um, I'm just gonna fill this in now with some music until the audio cleans up, and uh, we'll pick it up from there gun shop out here and for me to come check it out and some of the first work that I had him do was he installed the, the uh, compensators on a 
the ARs I, I built. When I came in, this was like literally the first thing that I saw in all this shiny stuff right here, this 1911 gold here. And uh, he's gonna bring some out to show us. Take a look at this one. Again, uh, it was just, this segment was just too good to leave out. Um, had to cut the audio because the closer we got to the counter, which was where the ultrasonic uh, machine was operating on, uh, it, the interference was just uh, too much. You couldn't really hear Alex or myself talking. But I did not want to leave this out because we got some pretty good close-up shots of the grips here so you can see the intricate engraving and the attention to detail, uh, the craftsmanship overall on, on these beautiful 1911 grips. We also have like yeah. the regular pearl or ivory. So for the ones that don't like, don't like the super fancy stuff. Yeah. And then I've, I've got one other one I can show you, so I have to go grab it out of the showcase. So mm -hmm. I'll, I'll be right back with it. Alright guys, while Alex goes over here and does that, um... We're gonna keep looking around. Yeah. Hey, bet you guys haven't seen all that. Nice stuff. Look at this. Lock, Ruger, Smith and Wesson, Phoenix Arms. Look at all these mags. 1911 mags. <clears throat> if you don't know where to find a good Colt from the factory mag, come here. Let's go check over here. Ah. Meaning supplies. You need to buy that today. Back pool, hand stock kit. And some uh, hex mag grip tape. Here's some other 1911 grips that I have. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, pearl, black pearl with the medallions, without the medallions. And these are all made by you? Uh, some are, some are from our, one of our co companies that we deal closely with. Um, I'm trying to see if I have the one I looked for. So, your MOE stuff here, your rail sections, buffer tubes, grips, charging handles. Sites, backup sites. We got the M bus sites here. Yeah, OD green, flat dark earth, black stocks. Uh, even got the pink ones here for Johnny. Woo! <laughs> you guys know how that goes. We got the metro sexual now. George, come on. <laughs> <laughs> wow, optics. One thing, guys. Uh, I'm sure George was about to mention. I kind of stepped in here a little. Why don't you tell them that they can come into the shop and feel free to look around and not even worry about it. Most of you guys that don't like the online shopping mm -hmm. and you say, oh, I need to see it personally. What are the dimensions? What it is? Just pop into the shop. Yeah, sure, online shopping is, is fast and convenient, but nothing beats the relationship you make with your, with your FFL. Like, we got a great one here with Alex. I think he's back. Here, Alex is explaining to us that these these two grips right here, the one with the Jesus and the other, the Japanese uh, koi fish inspired design. Uh, he was explaining to us he's got his own proprietary system of how he gets the uh, images onto the uh, the grip surface. He also informed us that he can do just about any high quality image and place it on the, the grips. So if you have a picture of a loved one maybe your kid or a relative that may have passed that you want to put on your 1911 grip as a form of remembrance it's all all doable uh, just come down to western firearms and talk to alex he can make it happen 
now Alex is going to show us uh, a custom 308 that he worked on. Uh, it's a Dura coated. Um, actually, uh, this from this segment on, he's going to actually show us a, a couple of uh, custom guns that he's worked on. A custom 308, uh, 45 uh, Smith and Wesson M&P, and a couple of Glocks. Um, you're going to love it. I did. Another service that Alex provides is uh, he runs a firearms training uh, program called Ford Assist. Uh, there, anyone from the beginning firearms enthusiast to the advanced shooter that uh, is on the competition level, you learn everything there from basic to advanced carbine tactics and uh, basic to advanced uh, handgun and I believe they do shotgun as well. Um, it's just too bad that the, we couldn't get Alex's own input on this because due to, like I said, the, uh, the ultrasonic machine running, running in the background that was causing interference with the audio. But hey man, you know, I didn't want to interfere with their business. Uh, they had asked me earlier if they, if they should turn off the ultrasonic machine. I'm like, no, no, you guys are here. Uh, I don't want to interfere with your business, so just keep it business as usual. <clears throat> and end result is, you know, the ultrasonic machine um, did drown out a lot of uh, some of the good conversations that we got. But uh, luckily for this uh, voiceover stuff, huh? All right, so we're gonna I'm gonna skip to the uh, 308, and that way y'all can see how beautiful that thing is. So this is a custom. Clear. It's clear. Safety, Sally. <laughs> this is a 308 uh, AR that I built off of the Air Precision M5E1 Builders Kit. Um, I did full custom paint on it with uh, Duraco. This is what I do here: is use Duraco, uh, Lantac bolt, um, some uh, Strike Industries components, primary arms. They're ACSS 128. Uh, I love scope. that scope. Very it's nice. Very great scope. Um, Wilson Combat Barrel, Lantac, CMC Trigger, which is an excellent trigger. If you want to get a good air trigger, uh, check out CMC. You have a video of that, that trigger in action on uh, WFA uh, I do. Instagram, right? Yeah, it's on there. It's a short video, but uh, it shows what the trigger is capable of doing. He showed it to uh, to us a little bit before we started doing this, and uh, it, it actually sounded like it was a burst fire. And that's yeah. how fast it is. <laughs> I had to RO come and look at it. I was like, what, what are you shooting there, buddy? <laughs> is that the new uh, Hex Mag 3 row Mags? This is their new 308 10 round Hex Mag. Nice. From, of course, Hex Mag. I've only seen these in YouTube videos. This is the first time I've seen it close. It's pretty cool. It's, it's made of the same material as their 556 version. It's sturdy. I, I've liked hex mags. I've never had any issues with them. Same here. Uh, I, I got rid of my mag pools and I switched over to hex mag. I love the series too. Hex mag, good work. Yep. Um, why don't you tell us a little bit what you got right here? And so, aside from selling uh, your stock or factory firearms, we also do some customizing. For example, I here have a full custom 1911 uh, based on a Caspian frame and slide. Uh, this one here is part of a series of Dia de los Muertos. Uh, internally, I have all the good components. Uh, this one has a Wilson Combat uh, bulletproof line. On the exterior is a mix between uh, uh, Smith and Alexander and Ed Brown components. And the barrel and compensator are from Clark Custom Guns. And this is all full stainless, laser engraved. All the artwork's uh, unique to each firearm. There's a series of six right now, only four have been completed. Actually, number four is being completed. Then next to that, we have a MMP9 with the wet work slide work done to it. Um, KKM Precision Barrel, Apex Trigger Kit, and Ameriglow uh, Sights. And the barrel was tin coated by k and Blasting. Uh, I believe they're on a Silmore. And then next to that we have a Gen 4 Glock 17, again with wet works slide work done to it. Uh, KKM Precision Barrel, tin coated again by Cannon Blasting. 
uh, stippling done by a buddy of mine, Abner, who's a new guy to the industry, uh, probably about for a year now, but does really good work uh, as far as stippling goes. And Agency Arms Magwell, and the trigger system is from OC Triggers out of Orange County. And then next to that, we have a Gen 3 Glock 17, uh, full, well, almost full framework. The, the 200 cuts, stippling. Uh, this is a uh, Magwell from, I forget the name, ALG Defensive. Slightly larger than the uh, Agency Arms. And this one has a fully polished KKM barrel. Uh, again, Amerigo Slights. Um, with custom paint done by me, Duracoat. This is a uh, Bushido, I call it the Bushido gun, which is the way the Samurai. And then next to that, we have another Glock 17 Gen 3 with Wetworks gold plated slide, fully polished factory barrel, uh, Apex trigger, <coughs> excuse me, and with the gold accents to match the uh, slide. Yeah, for uh, all you safety sallies out there, yes, these weapons are, have been previously checked. They're all clear. Shit, all right, I'm switching me? sides. Hmm? Oh, shit. Don't mind me. Continue. Oh, well, the relationship you have with the customer. Right, right. Where it's like, okay, I'm making sure you're going to take something that you're not going to get in trouble with. Well, that's what I feel as, as a gun shop owner. It's like our responsibility to give knowledge to the customer. Because it almost feels like, from what I've heard from other customers, they go somewhere and it's like all they're interested in is selling you the gun and getting you out of the door, you know, whoever's next is next. Exactly. You know, and a lot of people don't know that they're walking out of the door with an illegal firearm. Well, not not that the gun's illegal. It's the way they're transporting it. You know, it's supposed to be locked in a locked container, Under. ammo where it's supposed to be, and, and a lot of people don't know. already right. got the gun out of the... Exactly. You know, also another thing, Especially now with the new California laws, everybody could just go in and buy an AR. But why? What is it you could do with it? What is it you can't do with it? Especially now with the new feature list coming out, right. it's like a point that you could po that could be pointed out and explained. Like, hey, dude, this is the reason why. You know, we are this way because we're trying to help you out. We're also not trying to get in trouble, but we're also not here trying to push you out the door. Right. We're not only worried about the sale; we're worried about you as the customer coming back. Oh, yeah, of course. What, what good is having a customer busted? Yeah, if he's locked up, he ain't going to come back anymore. Exactly. Exactly. There goes your repeat customer. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Be like, well, they didn't tell me how many times. I've heard it from lots of people. They say, well, they never told me I can't do that. I could walk out. It's in the case. No, but it's not a locked container. Right. There's a reason yeah. why it's so, stated. I've had customers from other shops come here because, you know, we offer cleaning services and stuff. And... When they open it for us to inspect it, the cable lock is still nice and it's plastic. Never been used. Never been used. <laughs> uh, so, it's, you know, it's there for a reason. The, the laws are there. It's like, you know, I understand that you shouldn't be ignorant to it, but you, either someone's got to tell you, teach you, or you got to go and find out and see what the laws are. And now the one thing that's happening a lot is you got brand new gun owners that are just coming brand into new. the industry. They know that they can purchase a gun. I could come in here, purchase a gun today and be like, wait my 10 day waiting period, and okay, I'm gone, I took the test, I know what I need to do in the test, but when it comes to actually doing it, how am I supposed to put a gun lock in a gun, really? Right. There's a way to it, you just need to be explained how, mm -hmm. but you're not yeah, pushing we, them out the door, you're like, okay, let me explain that to you here. It's not your job to do it, it's yeah. you, the customer service you provide. That's, that's exactly right. Even you, you to the point where, when you come pick it up and you do the safe handling demonstration, at the end, I go the extra mile or, or whatever you want to call it, and actually put the lock on it and tell them, yeah, this is how you transport it. Yeah. And they leave here with peace of mind that they don't have to worry about anything once they walk out this door. And the, the thing about it is, well, we know you, so we, we talked about it, you helped us out, you helped everybody out. Help and me we out. feel comfortable talking to you about it. And we also think, well, at least I feel, with it being your gun shop, you do the same thing with the customer. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. So it's like, this is what's brought to the table. Don't think the price is outrageous because, oh shit, we're family owned business. You know, support your local shop. Exactly. Yeah, that's true, local shops. This is it, moment of truth. 
10 days later, she gets to go home. The cool thing about Western Firearms is that they make sure that every person that comes in here and buys a firearm on pickup day, they make sure that the, the customer leaves and transports the firearm legally. So Alex is going to show us how they do it here. Here you go, Alex. So, just about every manufacturer now supplies their own cable lock. So, in this case, it's a Mossberg for this one. Um, just want to make sure that, when, like George said, when the customer leaves, that they're confident in knowing that they're transporting their firearm legally. Uh, not like other shops where they just kind of show you out the door and have a nice day. Kind of like a good look. <laughs> Good to go. I'd like to thank Alex, Julio, and everybody, all the staff here at Western Firearms for having us over today and entertaining us while we're waiting for the, the time to come up. You know? But uh, sadly, we got to go. It's the end of the day. He's got things to do. We got other customers to take care of. And thanks again, Alex. Sometimes we're just doing something by. Appreciate it. Oh, yeah, and uh, again, you want to give out your Instagram? YouTube, so stuff. YouTube is uh, WFA sixty six twenty one. Instagram is uh, WFA or INC. Uh, the uh, Facebook page is just Western Firearms. Uh, so look us up, see what we can do for you. Any questions, give us a call, or email us. All our contact information is on, on YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook. So talk to you guys soon. They got some really good pictures up on their uh, Instagram account. Uh, Gen 661 for guns and gear review. Uh, Zerb member X17711. X22914. X9461 behind the camera. Check out ZertNation.com if you're interested, become a member. Uh, if you do decide to join Zert, put down on the reference any of the call signs you just heard us call out. Surprise us. Have a good one. <laughs>